What is up, Dalter here. Howard is full of tough enemies, especially for starting characters, and anything that makes the player stronger is welcome. Imbues are a great way to help even the playing field. While the stronger imbues are locked behind harder to reach resources, there are easy ways to get the weaker imbues, which will still be helpful in combat. Rags are a great way for starting characters to get imbues. While rags are weaker than varnishes, they are much easier to make, allowing starting characters to take advantage of imbues from the start of the game. There are four rags that can be made, fire, ice, bolt, and poison. The fire rag can be made with a linen cloth and a thick oil. You can get a linen cloth by decrafting clothes or from some merchants, and you can get a thick oil from oil nodes or from some merchant. After using a fire rag, it grants the fire imbue for 90 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as fire damage and adding 4 flat fire damage. The ice rag can be made with a linen cloth and a seaweed. You can get a linen cloth by decrafting clothes or from some merchants, and you can get seaweed from the beach or from some merchants. After using an ice rack, it grants the frost in view for 90 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as frost damage and adding 5 flat frost damage. The bolt rag can be made with a linen cloth and a larva egg. You can get a linen cloth by decrafting clothes or from some merchants, and you can get larva eggs from killing crustaceans, such as the mantis shrimp, or from some merchants. After using a bolt rag, it grants the lightning imbue for 90 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as lightning damage and adding 5 flat lightning damage. A poison rag can be made with a linen cloth and a grilled crab eye seed. You can get a linen cloth by decrafting clothes or from some merchants, and you can get the grilled crab eye seed from cooking a crab eye seed, which you can get from plants around Cierzo and the Chersonese. After using a poison rag, it grants the poison imbue for 90 seconds, which inflicts poison, which does decay damage over time with a 40% buildup. For the effect to take place, the buildup needs to reach 100%, which in this case usually means 3 hits. After exploring the world a bit more, you may be able to find or buy ingredients to make the more powerful varnishes, or you may have the money to buy them from some merchants. There are 6 different types of varnishes, fire, ice, bolt, poison, dark, and spiritual. The fire varnish can be made with a gabberry wine, seared root, and firestone. You can get the gabberry wine from merchants. The seared root can be made by cooking a smoke root, which can be gathered from the Enmerker forest. The fire stone can be made by putting a mana stone and a thick oil in an alchemy kit. The mana stone can be acquired from mining at mana stone veins, and the thick oil can be acquired from oil nodes. The fire varnish can also be found in the Warren Hunter's cabin in the Enmerker forest and is sometimes sold by some merchants. After using the fire varnish, it grants the greater fire imbue for 180 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as fire damage, adding 12 flat fire damage and inflicting burning, which does fire damage over time, with a 40% buildup. For the effect to take place, the buildup needs to reach 100%, which in this case usually means 3 hits. The ice varnish can be made with a gabberry wine, live weedy, and cold stone. You can get the gabberry wine from merchants. The live weedy can be gathered from the hollowed marsh. The cold stone can be made by putting a mana stone and a blue sand in an alchemy kit. The mana stone can be acquired from mining at mana stone veins and the blue sand can be acquired from the beach in the Chersonese. The ice varnish is also sometimes sold by some merchants. After using an ice varnish, it grants the greater frost imbue for 180 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as frost damage, adding 15 flat frost damage, and inflicting slowdown, which decreases enemy movement speed by 25% with a 40% buildup. For the effect to take place, the buildup needs to reach 100%, which in this case usually means 3 hits. The bolt varnish can be made with a gabberry wine, firefly powder, and mana stone. You can get the gabberry wine from merchants. The firefly powder can be gathered from the hollowed marsh by running to a group of fireflies and then running over a firefly plant. The mana stone can be acquired from mining at mana stone veins. The bolt varnish is also sometimes sold by some merchants. After using a bolt varnish, it grants the greater lightning imbue for 180 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as lightning damage and adding 15 flat lightning damage. The dark varnish can be made with a gabberry wine, a cult remains, mana stone, and grilled crab eye seed. You can get the gabberry wine from merchants. The cult remains can be acquired from killing clinicos or hive men. The mana stone can be acquired from mining at mana stone veins. You can get the grilled crab eye seed from cooking a crab eye seed, which you can get from plants around the Chersonese, Embraker Forest, and Hallowed Marsh. The dark varnish is also sometimes sold by some merchants. After using the dark varnish, it grants the greater decay imbue for 180 seconds, increasing damage by 20% as decay damage and adding 15 flat decay damage. The poison varnish can be made with a gabberry wine, occult remains, miasma pod, and grilled crab eye seed. You can get the gabberry wine from merchants. The occult remains can be acquired from killing wendigos or hive men. The miasma pod can be acquired from fishing in the hollowed marsh or from some merchants. 
You can get the grilled crab eye seed from cooking a crab eye seed, which you can get from plants around the Chersonese and Microforest and Hollowed Marsh. The poison varnish is also sometimes sold by some merchants. After using a poison varnish, it grants the greater poison imbue for 180 seconds, inflicting extreme poison, which does decay damage over time with a 40% buildup. For the effect to take place, the buildup needs to reach 100%, which in this case usually means 3 hits. The spiritual varnish can be made with a gabbery wine, goat's eye, and mana stone. You can get the gabbery wine from merchants. The ghost eye can be found by gathering from ghost plants mostly found around ghost paths, from curling ghosts, or from some merchants. The mana stone can be acquired from mining at mana stone veins. The spiritual varnish can also be found in ghost paths in the Chersonese and the Warren Hunter's Cabin in the Edmerker Forest, and it is sometimes sold by some merchants. After using a spiritual varnish, it grants the greater ethereal imbue for 180 seconds, increasing damage by 10% as ethereal damage and adding 15 flat ethereal damage. That was an overview on the different imbues that rags and varnishes can give you. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are not sure which imbue to use, click on the info card for a video about the weaknesses of each enemy. Otherwise, I'll see you later.